Hi everybody, it's Brian from Custom Classics. Here behind me today is a beautiful 1957 Ford Fairlane 500. So let me tell you a little bit about this thing. This is a recipient of a frame-off nut and bolt rotisserie restoration. Uh, it appears to be a few years old. I don't know who did it, but they did a very nice job. The top is as nice as the bottom, and you'll see that in our pictures online. They did some nice stainless steel work on this thing, repairing that and polishing it. Uh, to different degrees. Chrome work is nice. The bumpers are done really well, nice and deep. No scratching in the bumpers as far as the different techniques that other platers use. So whoever did it did a real nice job on it. Now when we got this car, we have just outfitted it with a set of American racing wheels and brand new tires. The, the wheels we had in stock, the tires we just purchased. So those are fresh and uh, really goes down the road well. It has the iconic uh, Thunderbird Special 312 in it, which was 245 horsepower back in the day. And if you think about that, the 77 Trans Am at the time, which I had with those, those are beautiful cars, they were only 180 horsepower. So 245 horsepower moves this thing down the road uh, good enough for you to get into some trouble with. Let's uh, take a peek at some of that. You can see under the hood on this. Nice side open hood catch. <clears throat> under the hood's done. Oh, and here they glossed the bottom of the hood and did a nice satin finish on the aprons, as should be. They've got the headers and the exhaust manifold. Uh, the exhaust manifold and the valve covers done the correct way in the correct colors, even with the correct hose clamps on there. Also on the inside of this car, the interior is done with the correct vinyl and cloth inserts in the same pattern as was would have been in the day for this particular car. The dash has all been restored, uh, nice glossy red with black inserts as it would have been. The factory gauges work as they should. We also have installed on the underside of the dash two gauges. I have an oil gauge and a temperature gauge so you can actually really get a good read on what it's doing versus <laughs> the factory ones which other than telling you uh, it's hot or it's not hot, that's a little bit more accurate. We also have installed a Kenwood head unit, which is Bluetooth, so that you can sync that thing to your phone and play some music off of that. Uh, there's some updated um, speakers in there, some Eclipse, some 6x9s in the back, so you'll get some good sound out of this. We still have the factory push-button radio in it, and it still has the factory clock in it, as you'll see in our photos. Um, I don't know if that clock works or not, but the uh, radio's up there, the blower controls, all of that works. Uh, the heat, there's a high and there's a low, and then there's a heat setting and a defrost, and that stuff is all working uh, correctly. I went through that as well. So there you have it. I, don't, I think I've covered pretty much everything on this car. Uh, from the paint, which is obviously a urethane base coat clear uh, that they wet sanded and polished really well and uh, give it a nice finish. Gaps are nice, fit and finish is nice, and all of the trim is in really, really nice shape on the car. You can uh, look this thing up online and take a look at all the photos that uh, the guys have got there for you and take a look at the write-up that we have that'll have all the details of everything that's on this car. And don't forget to look us up on all of our socials as well. Thank you.